everyone, it is Friday, November 29th, which equals out to Black Friday in the U.S., um, which is the day after Thanksgiving. For those of you who celebrated Thanksgiving yesterday, I hope you had a wonderful day. For anyone who is out braving the Black Friday shopping, stay safe, remember it's just stuff, and uh, have a fun day. So, a couple people have asked me to do a video actually showing how I put in my Velcro rollers. And since yesterday, I um, wore a hat most of the day that was a beanie hat that pretty much flattened out my hair, it's a great day to show you how I Velcro roll. So, what I do is, uh, this is second day hair by the way, so it has product in it from yesterday, but not much. So I part the hair to in front of the ear and part it where I normally part my hair. And then um, I am going to just take a section from the top here, kind of at a diagonal, but you can really put this in however it works for you. Take a section that's about an inch wide. I have fairly fine hair, as I'm sure you guys can tell. So um, my sections are going to be larger than maybe yours would if you had more hair. Um, also, sometimes people ask, my lipstick today is Anarchy by Urban Decay, and my eyeshadow accidentally ended up a lot sparklier than I thought it would, so I look very festive today. So this is plain water, and I'm just going to spritz the ends of my hair. I'm going to take a Velcro roller that's this size, so I would say that's about a half an inch diameter. Run it to the end of the hair, like so. Can you see? There we go. You see, it just catches on and just roll it down. And I'm rolling it under, so the hair turns in a direction under. And I am doing what's called an on base roller because I want volume. So this is on base when you hold the hair straight up. That's off base when you hold it at an angle. Can you see the angle? Um, and that will give you a less volumey less voluminous uh, set. So here we go. Same little half inch rollers and this is based on the length of my hair and I want the top really curly so I'm using a roller that's a little small. My typical rule for short hair is to use the largest roller you can but if you want curl you want that hair to wrap around at least one and a half times. So that's what I'm doing today, is I want a little bit of curl. So I'm gonna do, just keep doing this around until I've rolled the whole head. I like Velcro rollers for a quick and simple set because they, um, they do a really good job of grabbing onto hair, especially shorter hair. Um, when it comes to my bangs in the front, I want those bangs today to blend in to the rest of my hair, so it's kind of an off-the-face look. Um, I have done these larger pink Velcro rollers and used them to just, in a big chunk, just to curl under my bangs, just like that. But today, I want them to blend in to my hair. So I'm just going to take a section. And I usually am a little bit faster and messier than this, but I'm just showing you guys what I do. So, I'm probably being a little neater than normal. And then you see, okay, so some of my hair in that section was a little longer and some of it's a little shorter. So I just keep wrapping the roller until it rolls down. If you hear a clicking noise, it is because I'm making muffins in one of those like easy bake cupcake oven kind of things. So it makes little clicky noises when it's cooking. So I got my green rollers from a local beauty supply store. You can get them on Amazon for a very good price. Um, your Sally's, the local Sally's has these which are called Jet Set Rollers. I do use these, but to show you the key difference, these are Velcro rollers. See how just they're sort of fuzzy and softer? Look at the difference. So these have like almost like prongs. So while these are good, I feel like if your hair is more delicate, it will kind of pull at your hair a little bit when you take them out. The other thing is 
Never just pull out Velcro rollers. You always want to unwrap them. Um, if the roller has set properly, unwrapping it, you won't lose any curl, but you also won't damage your hair. So here we are, we're getting down towards the side. And remember, you can use as few or as many rollers as you need for your hair. My hair is growing out from a pixie cut. It's gotten pretty long, hasn't it, guys? It's really grown, so that's nice. Um, my front hair, I don't like it to be super curly around the side because it looks shorter. So I just take a big section, you see that whole side section, and roll that. And okay, now let me show you what I'm doing. So here's that side section. I'm going to put the roller in. And I'm going to roll towards my face. There we go. So that roller curls towards the face. So on the other side, I'm going to part the hair in front of the earlobe again. There's the hair. And see, it's a lot lighter on the light side of the part. I'm sorry if the lighting's funny. It's really bright and sunny today, which is lovely. But it's like 24 degrees in Washington. So. That's what's happening, that's your weather report <laughs> for the part of the country you probably don't live in, but that's what's happening here. I'm gonna slap a roller in there. And this side, this is the light side of my part, and because of the way I style my hair, typically when I brush it out, I like to roll the light side of the part backwards. So what I mean by that is, there's the roller, and then I'm just rolling it back. And then this last chunk of hair, Sally's, which is just fine. And there, it's rolled in a back direction. And then in the back of my hair, I'll just kind of show you guys what I do. So, I tend to not be as precise in the back. I'm just gonna grab and do the same thing, rolling it all under. So I'm just gonna turn around, because I realize I'm just sitting here chatting and you guys can't really see what I'm doing in the back of my head. I hope you can see now. And again, I do the back pretty much by feel, and that is just from experience, from doing it millions of times. I'm out of frame, that's good, here we go. Because this is definitely my default. Once my hair is long enough to do this, I do this about once a week. On the weeks that I care enough to do this, um, this happens. So I also wanted to just take this opportunity to tell you guys how much I appreciate you staying with me, still making comments, still watching my videos, even though I know that my um, consistency on this channel is not very good. I just want you to know that I really appreciate you guys being here and um, I do the best I can. I, uh, I've been having some busyness at work and some health stuff. I know I feel like I say that every couple of months but it's still happening and I'm working on it and I'm working on being the healthiest person I can but in the meantime I'm here with you guys every time I can. So. I love ya. And, um, and there we go. That is the last roller. These pink ones, I'm going to show them to you because I just ducked them, chucked them in my head. These are the pink ones. They're even smaller and they work really well on the parts of my hair down here that are only like two inches long in the back. As you can see, it's not a perfect set. It's not an idealized set, but it does work and it's quick and it's effective. And uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm not going to actually probably brush this out on camera because I have brushed out sets hundreds of times on this channel. So, you know, um, but this, this I haven't really done in this detail. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.